متوارث ولم يعبروا الحدود الدوليه فعلا فورس سي دو بي سي فورس على لور فري دانفواي لي ديليغي مستر بريزيدنت Um, what is happening on the continent of Africa, I think, uh, leaves a lot of thought for the Pan-African Parliament. Elections leave a lot of uh, hatred in the minds of many. We should take this as a major project. And the question should be, why is multi-party politics in Africa not uniting Africa, but dividing Africa. My view would be that since South Africa hosts the Pan-African Parliament, and this is a matter of democracy, the, the fact that the elections went on very smoothly, and uh, I saw something which is not in our country, that you could go to any polling station, provided you have your, your voter card, you can vote within a province. I, I mean, that makes participation of our people in elections much easier. Merci My country in Ethiopia, it is in a reform, so women's, women are highly empowered. That is 50% of the cabinet are women in my country. And the other, the chief of justice is a woman. The president is a woman. The chief of electoral board is a woman. So all these are, these are women empowerment and the new prime minister in my country call all opposition parties throughout the world. And we are, they are coming together and we are discussing a lot together on the table because we have to win by ideas, not by guns. The hatred campaign in politics. We need to be very accommodative to each other. If you belong to another party, I belong to another party. I should take you as my enemy. The principle should remain that you go to another party because it's your choice. But otherwise, me belonging to another, it does not mean that you are my enemy. And this is why all of us political leaders in Africa, we should emphasize that. Indeed, if you look at the institutions that we have in our countries, instead of allowing them to grow, we allow individuals who overpower these institutions and therefore can easily change constitutions to favor one group or the other. I think that what we need to do is to insist on the term limits as many countries are practicing now. And for everybody to know there is a limit to which or how long you can be a president.